Station 15, New Life and a New Beginning. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. If the cross is expansive, reaching down into the depths of who we are, reaching out to include every one of us, so is the resurrection. The women arrived at the tomb only to find out the body and the story they thought it held could not be contained. Death burst forth into life. The resurrection is God's reaching into the world with a boundless love to gift us all with a new life and a new beginning. Practice the traditional Easter greeting while you reach to embody the scope of this good news. I'll say Christ is risen and invite you to respond Christ is risen indeed with the fullness of your voice and your body. Reaching high up to the sky, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Reaching way out to your sides, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Reaching far out in front of you, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah.